morning everybody sorry i'm a little bit late um had internet problems as in couldn't get on it but we're on it now so that's fine how are you today uh lynn and julian and rita hello up early again um Anne and kelly sharon leslie and um what's that oh absolutely leslie and uh june rita i was going to be here five minutes ago though so only five minutes late but there you go um Leslie Sue, it is a wonderful morning. I'm going to go for a nice long walk after this, I think, with me dog. And uh, hello, Jill. Oh, hi, Claire. Hi, Teresa. Um, beers in Nova Scotia. Sorry if I missed anybody. It's quite quite busy there. Isn't it? Um, right then. And uh, Chile and where is it? Chile and sunny in Preston. A bit like that here. It's nice, though. I like it when it's like that. Um, hello, beers in Nova Scotia. Mel and Bonnie. Hello to you, Sarah. Um, no, no, it's good. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for reminding me. Um, morning, Linda. <whistles> Ruby, Coco, Ruby, walkies, treat time, biscuit. Trouble now. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. She's just making Maddie. Hello, Julie. Thank you very much. I thought it was kind of poppyish. I'm not sure if it's poppyish, but it's, it's poppyish, isn't it? Right, I'll just show you some new panels, and I'm going to make the cushion cover from the, um, the fairy house panel. And uh, tomorrow on Crate and Craft, I'll make the book cover to go with it, just to show you how easy they are. But we've got a few new panels. Hello, Blodwin and June and Raylene. What a lovely name. Um, oh, Julian was browsing the Wool Warehouse website. Hello, Evelyn in Berlin. Hello to you. Oh, gosh. Oh, Nancy. Hi. Um, hope, hope everyone's fingers are being created, she says. <laughs> this, oh... Have a look at this because I've actually got the trays and I forgot to bring them over. This, oh, 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 while you're there. <laughs> Pretend Would, I'm not here. I well, think everybody knows that you're here because you start fiddling around with the cameras. Are we all right? <laughs> you're not sending me out of focus, are you? <laughs> you need to be brighter. Oh, I need to be brighter. I'm, I am pretty bright. <laughs> um, would you mind passing me those trays from the table on, in the West Wing? These. Yeah, the ones with the sewing machine stuff. Those are the ones. Thank you. That was good timing. Can I throw them like a frisbee? No. Uh, no. No. Honestly. Um, so, trinket trays. Um, this is what they make. And they're just... One, two. There are three sizes. I've only got two here, but there's, there's a bigger one as well. And basically, these are perfect for things like this so to have next to your um, sewing machine just to keep things in that you want to be handy is what I use them for so other side of the sewing machine and you know just keep things to hand so you can see exactly what's in there you could use them for sweets you could use them for I oh, thank you Daryl uh, I don't know for uh, nuts at Christmas I don't know whatever you like but they're just really handy um, cotton wool balls in the bathroom that kind of thing they come with full instructions you'll have two patterns no there's two on there how many, how many have you got one two no there are three there are three um so those are the patterns that come with it the pattern you will use with decaville light and the decaville light is included in there as well so the reason for that so you cut the fabric um, you cut your pattern out of the decaville and then that goes in the middle of your fabric obviously on the wrong side and your fabric will be quarter of an inch bigger all the way around so that's your seam allowance and that just means that you get this nice crisp finish around the edges because the decaville doesn't actually fold into the edge um what's happened on facebook Oh, I don't know what happened there. It's, uh, all of a sudden came up with, I've got in, insufficient information. But we're still there, so that's all right. Hi, Pamela and uh, Sue in Brisbane, Australia. Very good, thank you. Hello, Dominica. So those are they. So there are three different sizes. And they're kind of reversible, so whichever one you want on the outside. But this, we've got the sewing machine, we've got the scissors, and there's the... Um, the threads and, and buttons and these match the sewing pouches which I don't have here but they might be on the website so same same design as those 
So we've only got a few of those, but we can get more printed when, when, they, when they sell out. Um, this one is the panel for the, this is a big one, for the boxes that you see at the top there. I showed you the boxes the other day, but I didn't show you the panel. That's it. It's huge. So designed um, to have oh, this one as the outer and this one as the lining. But if you use your own lining fabric, then you can make more. So the spotty one up there and the spotty one on the end and there's another one with lace on somewhere are actually the lining pieces so in which case you can make six pouches it comes with instructions but nothing else so you'll need your own lining fabric and your own zips and the length of those are all on the instructions so that's that one love that i think they're, they're really useful as well um it was in barbados oh denise i'm envious i stayed i stayed overnight in barbados once in 1982 on my way to Mystique where I was modelling for Christian Dior Hosiery. How's that? But I'd love to go there on a holiday. Oh, I'm glad you like them, Bloodwind. I think they're really useful. Um, these are the panels for gift bags. This will make five gift bags. Again, you're going to need your own. Let me show you that down there. Um, your own lining fabric and ribbon. Oh, I can see it clear. I think it's brightened me a bit too much. Telling me I need to be brighter, honestly. Um, so you can see they, they kind of wrap around like that. So really simple to make. You'll make a channel across here and then thread a ribbon through and that's your drawstring. Colour-wise, for your lining, I've used... Um, where are they? Uh, paprika. Paprika goes really well with those, so that's quite bright. But with the bunting, I used a sage, sage green. Um, I'll show you that one in just a second. So I, I, the greens or reds go really well. Or if you wanted to pick out things like the, the dark purples, paler greens would work well too. But on the cute, these are Kim's designs. So look, you've got the little mouse curled up in bed and the rabbit family, more mice. And then on the other side, you've got a little fox family. They've got squirrels out. Oh, no, they're mice as well, aren't they? There's a look at the hedgehog. Fast asleep. So she is, I think, Dawn. Very clever. Um, yep, I'm on YouTube. Definitely on YouTube, Sylvia. And I'm glad you like them, Viz. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thank you. I think we're I think we're getting our brights mixed up a little bit. I know what he means, but it did it could it come across the wrong way, couldn't it? If you told you're not very bright. Um, they are a bit Beatrix Potterish, aren't they, Denise? You're right. I'm not putting those on there. And then the stocking one. So these are we'll try and get these as soon as we can. Hi Cynthia. And um so they are on pre-order on the website because Crate and Craft have got all our stock at the moment. They are available right now on the Crate and Craft website. So if you want, to, that's the quickest way to order them because they'll be going out on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Um, the rest of the um, the panels we're still having printed will hopefully be here by Friday. Um, I need to chase them about that, and see how quickly we can get them out. So, but as soon as they come in, um, Kim's put the seventeenth of October on the website. We'll try and get them out before then if they arrive in time. But again, if you wanted to order from the Crate and Craft website, they've gone and put them live a day early. In fact, they went live last night. So you can order them right now. These are the Christmas stockings. So there's, um, again, designed to make one stocking and bunting. You do get instructions. You don't get any, back, uh, any lining fabric or anything. So you'll need uh, bias binding to, or binding, doesn't have to be bias, um, to string these on, or a ribbon would do. And you could use the green on the back of the white or you could add your own extra fabric the closest we get um international fedex still can't set it up Rita. they're not getting back to me i'll chase them up about that um if you use your own backing fabric it makes it longer and sage isn't an exact match but it's the closest match that we've got the christmas stockings this is actually the lining so the way they work they're all in one 
So you'll sew together the two pieces and then push the lining inside and fold the top over and it makes that nice big cuff around the top. However, however, if you wanted to make two stockings, because it is a shame really, that's a really pretty lining you, and you don't see any of it at all when it's inside the stocking. Um, there is a little mark at the top here and these are folding lines. So when you make up the stocking that folds over the top like that and that goes inside. But if you cut that in half and use your own fabric for lining, the lining will show on the outside where it folds over. So it doesn't matter whether again you're going to go for a paprika colour or an ochre would go or the sage. really doesn't matter. It just means the cuff's different. And you will have a seam across the bottom here. But then you can make two stockings out of them. So, but that's, that's up to you. Personally, I'd go for the two stockings. Because again, that's the lining and I just think it's so pretty. But if you just wanted to make one, that just pushes on the inside. I've quilted the one back here, um, but that's optional. So you'll need some fusible fleece or wadding or something like that if you're going to quilt them as well. So that's that one. Um, thank you, Rita. I think too lovely for lining, Sarah. Uh, right, then we're on to the fairy house panels. So this is the one that's been designed to make cushion covers. So you've got six of the different fairy houses. That's the actual one that was on there. If you saw on Facebook the video that I put on there, I actually filmed myself drawing and painting that one. Um, but that's those. So instructions to make a cushion cover, but of course you can make bags with them. You could make table runners and placemats. In fact, Anne made placemats for me and she's made a bag as well. No, that was Sheena. You have a look at those tomorrow. And if they are on Crate and Craft now. They'll be the same price when they're on our website. Have to do that. Um, so we've got them on pre-order because, again, Crate and Craft have got all our stock at the moment. Um, but hopefully, again, towards the end of the week, we should be getting, getting those in. Um, but if you want it sooner, then have a look on Crate and Craft and order from them. I think, <laughs> I think it might be quite funny if we've sold out of everything before the show. <laughs> this is not what I was going to show you. Oh, the reading cushion panel makes up this. So there's the cushion and then a book cover. And on the inside, let me show you that way. On the inside of the book cover, that just slips in there like that. You've got the lining like that. And then that just slips into each side. And it's for an A5 book. And we've left plenty of room around there. So if you wanted to put a name on there or a little bit of embroidery or something like that, um, then you can do, you know, Daniel's book or, or whatever. And then that goes in there. So it's a handy place to keep your book, but it's also a handy place to keep your reading glasses and things like that. And that's the back. And not just for kids. So that's what I'm going to make in a bit. I can't see the panel at the moment, so just bear with me a second. That's, oh no, that's another cushion cover. That's it. So the panel will make both. It'll make the book and uh, the book cover and the cushion cover. So again, on Create and Craft now or pre-order on the website for the end of next week. So that's all the new panels, I think. That's what I'm going to make. That's what I'm going to use to make it. Pop that back in there, pop that back. I need a bigger studio. Keep telling him. Right, we've got something a little bit different for you as well. Uh, oh, Kim's ordered all of the panels on the stocking yesterday. Can't wait for them to arrive. Um, Lorna's on it. Oh, that's my, my niece deals with the Crate and Craft account. So she's, um, she's got all the panels, she's got all of the instructions and they're all ready to go. So they should be going out. Um, the, th the thing is, they don't let you know, although the show's on a Sunday and things are selling now, they don't let you know till Monday what's actually sold and who it's going to. Um, I'm not going to line the cushion cover, Leslie, but I am going to hide the seams on the inside. Um, difficult, no, you wouldn't be able to line this one. It wouldn't, wouldn't work with this one. I'll do, that'll make sense when, um, uh, when you see how it's made. Hello, darling. Hello, Zach. 
Um, we've been asked for felt, uh, red and white felt. I feel a few Santa Clauses coming on. We've got large fat quarters, so these measure around about 19 inches by uh, 20 inches. And I think it's quite nice when we can get them in these sizes. There's the red or the white because um, it's not too much. But a lot of the time you can only buy like nine inch squares, which isn't quite enough. So these are big fat quarters and they're a wool mix. So they're really soft. They're wool and viscose. So it's really soft. It's really nice to work with. Um, so that's that. Okay. Got so much stuff. Oh, oh, Kim had a moment yesterday. Let me jump to this one. <laughs> because she found we had the the Lewis and Irene rep over. Oh, gosh, we've spent a lot of money. Um, and Kim found this. It smells of chocolate. The, look, smell, smell. <sighs> it smells of chocolate. So Lewis and Irene fabric, I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling it might be reduced in price as well. Let me have a look. Now I've said that, probably won't be. Um, da -da, and that and that and that and that. Whoops, gone too far. Oh, what all this new stuff. I'm on page two. We have a load of fat quarters um, all on special offer as well. Um, where are you? Oh, can't find it after all that. Is this one on there? I have a feeling it's reduced, but do have a look. Um, so we've got this one, which is, oh, it must be there. It must be user error. Um, what's it called? The old chocolate shop. And we've got jelly rolls and the smell of chocolate as well. And had we got some, um, oh, here we go. Charming squares, all smelling of chocolate. Now, they, uh, we've been told by Lewis and Irene that the, the smell will stay there uh, for up to six washes. But the <laughs> this is what we were like on Thursday afternoon. And anybody that came in, we're going, smell that, smells of chocolate. But it really does. It's a really cozy smell. I did, um, I did tell him not to chew it. Doesn't taste of chocolate, just smells of chocolate. <laughs> um, but these won't be made anymore. So if you wanted to get hold of those, we haven't got a lot. Oh, I'm just imagining when we start opening these in the office, the whole place is going to smell of chocolate. Uh, right, we have also more um, jelly rolls, fabric strips, um, from Lewis and Irene. These are what they're called. Again, I'm not going to open it all up because you will never roll them back up again. Mind you, that means I keep them. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go down. Down, down, down. Maybe if I showed you things in order, then it might be a little bit easier to, so I can find them. Um, what's Facebook doing that for? I do not have the necessary authority or something. Right. Uh, Piggy Tails, this one. So you can see it's got little farm animals on it. And that's £25. That's a good price for any kind of jelly roll, let alone a, a Lewis and Irene one. So all, all really, really nicely designed little um, farmyard animals on that one. And while we're there with Lewis and Irene, this is a new fabric for you as well. So is this the same? Oh no, this is called the Village Pond, but they kind of go theme wise, don't they? That's the Village Pond. I think that's all we've got at the moment, but we will have quite a large range of Lewis and Irene coming in um, this year. Uh, Rita says, oh great, now I'll be s stroking and smelling my fabrics. <laughs> I wonder if they can do, because um, I've seen chocolate fragranced fabrics before, but I wonder if they can do like floral fragrance. I'd love to have one that smells of roses or freesias or something like that. Um, 
uh, panels. Um, n we don't have distributors in Australia either. You can order from us, but it's about £29, £30, something like that for postage. It's a, it's a lot of money for postage. We do have customers in Australia. Uh, we use every to deliver. Um, I think it normally takes a couple of weeks to get there, but the, the expense isn't us charging that much. That's how much it costs. It's, it is quite an expensive postal service. Um, first. Oh, the last jelly roll Karen bought cost forty pounds. That's that's a bit more like what they are, isn't it? Really. Um, oh, loads of things. Crafty knitted Julian. You could use them as sashing and borders on your quilt. So if you had some plain fabric squares, just put the nice pretty border around each of those. You can cut them up into hexagons and diamond shapes for for patchwork or squares, of course, as well. You can just sew them all together in strips and then cut across them diagonally. Then re-sew them back together again to create some different effects as well. Um, I've put it into um, YouTube. Jelly roll, jelly roll sewing, and see what they come up with. I need, a, I need another count. I'm going down there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me show you this. These are advent calendars. And again, I'm not going to open them. But then they will have to be mine. I'm going to show you them on the website. Oh, Catherine's got a snuggly, stripy throw after last week's show. We will be getting some more of that back in stock, hopefully. Um, where are we? that way and then <coughs> I'm sorry do excuse me let me show you on the website so if you go to um, the new arrivals and just scroll down got loads of fat quarters look all, all reduced uh, Kim got a good deal on them so we've passed the savings on to you this one is a, a, a 12 door um, advent calendar and every one of those little doors every one of the drawers has got a, a kit in it and they're felt kits to make these uh, decorations so I think this is such a lovely idea for a gift for anybody that sews for a child maybe that's just starting out sewing whoops so those are the kits in pieces. Actually, oh, there's a hair on there. These aren't our photographs. These have come from the from the suppliers. You'd have thought they'd notice that. Um, that see, this is what happens when you marry to a photographer. Everything has to be perfect. So, yeah, for children because they've already got the holes in them, so they could use a um, a, a plastic needle because you're not having to push the um, the needle actually through the holes to oh those don't or maybe they do around there that one's got holes in it that one's got holes in it look so it's look, they look really I obviously haven't made them up but they look really simple so it's twenty nine pounds ninety nine um, but I just think you get so much for it little pom poms on there and the little little bell. Um, so you get pre-cut shapes, stuffing, threads, baker's twine or ribbon. Oh, you get a needle. You get a needle in there. Um, and a plastic needle. Didn't realise that. Should have read it. And any other accessories to complete the design. So the kits are robin, dove, reindeer, mistletoe, penguin, festive dash hound, Santa, nutcracker star, festive pug and hot chocolate. And then the other one that we have is this one. So this is from Hemline. So that's what it looks like. And the doors are actually on, on the front of this. Um, so they open up. And then there's the drawers on the inside. So that's it open. And in those little boxes is sewing related things. So again, ideal gift for somebody who sews. Um, so this one's 24 drawers. And these are the kind of thing that you get in there. So they're actually, oh, pom pom magic. So a little sewing something, a little sewing treat in each one of those pockets. And that's £37.99. And again, it's, it's really nicely boxed. It's kind of a box within a box. So that's the size of it. Again, I'm not going to open it, but those doors come open and then all of your all of your goodies are all on the inside there. So it's, it's quite a nice substantial gift, actually, isn't it? 
Um, I'll just move you up the way because I can't see your comments. Move me out of the way, I should say. Um, your friend Tilly when she was in the first. Oh, sorry, that wasn't for me. Um, morning, Jenny Jones. Sue says Bumbleberry's Charm Pack has the wrong picture on the website. Oh, has it? Hang on, I thought I had brought that down with me. Bumbleberry's Charm Pack. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, move me back over there again. And Bumbleberry's Charming Squares. No, I think that's the right one. That's what's on, the, unless I've got this wrong, that's what's on the website. Oh, oh yes, I see what you mean. Oh, right. Yeah, so that's what you get. That shouldn't be there. <laughs> Kim, if you're watching, can you take that image off, please? Um, it's, it's just that, that's what you get. Thank you for spotting that one. You are very eagle-eyed and ahead of the game. Oh, chocolate smelly fabric sold out. <laughs> Alon says the chocolate shop sold out already. I don't think we can get any more of that. I shall have a word with my daughter, but I think that was uh, a kind of an, an end of line thing. Um, those are the charming swears in the bumbleberries. And um, I think we've got some more bumbleberries coming in later on in the year as well. We spent four hours on Thursday with two reps. So we've got practically the rest of the year planned out. And I'm not sure if these are left. Um, these are panels to make cushion covers. You could make one or you can make two. That's those. And these are um, Lewis and Irene again. So Lewis and Irene, you know, we've just got really nice quality with those. So you've got something that you know is going to last year after year after year. Oh, Annabelle's got a broken leg. Oh, no. I hope it's going to be all right. Having x-rays done next week. Hello, Brendan Kentucky. What's it like over there at the moment? I've still got more to show you. Look, it was 20. To, I, I told you we've got a, got a little bit carried away um, this week. So let's let's be quick, shall we? So look, we have Dr. Seuss and all the same collection. Oh no, sorry, that's the Grinch. Where's Dr. Seuss? Oh no, I'm gone. I've got all ahead of myself. There's Dr. Seuss. The hat in the cat. The cat in the hat. And then we've got the Grinch and then we've got the Lorax. So those three are new and I think I remember seeing these were reduced. Am I right there? Let's have a look. Need to go back a page. All 100% cotton and 44 inches wide. There we go. Yeah, three pounds eighty should be five pounds fifty for all of those. So again, if Kim can get oh, and this one as well, Peter Rabbit, that's four pounds instead of six. If Kim can get a good deal from our suppliers, then she'll pass that on to you. So um, we're not we're not greedy retailers like that. If we can save you a bit of money, then then we'll do that. Uh, Brenda had a time change. Last weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're, yeah, so we're a little bit different now. Um, Bumbleberries. Oh, right. Sorry. Saw that one, Rita. Thank you. Right. A few, I'm not going to take you through all of the fat quarter packs because we've got so many of them. And there's more coming as well. There's another huge box that Gary is photographing um, that still need to go on. So just keep watching that on the website. Um, Alan's making cards with my design fabric. Lovely, that's a nice idea. Fabric Christmas cards. I used to do a few of those, like doing a little bit of patchwork and, um, and then putting it behind uh, an aperture in a card. I haven't done that for a long time. 6.39 a.m. in Kentucky, says Brenda. Hi, Anne. She's sewing Christmas wreath trees, gingerbread houses, and they're looking good. Oh, it's a, such an enjoyable project, that, isn't it, Anne? Um, right, I'm only going to show you three of these. But we have got loads more. Um, 
are these, I think, are these reduced as well? I'm asking you and you don't know, do you? Um, yep. So £10 instead of 15 And then there's my Christmas critters. 7.50 instead of 9.50. That's one of mine, the pets collection. Eight pounds instead of 11. Oh, wow. Seven instead of nine. There was a, oh, do you remember that? I haven't brought that down with me. Remember those ones? We had the um, the fabric in, it only came in last week and we've got reduced fat quarters in them. Two pounds off those ones. Uh, Harry Potter, 10.99 down to eight. So that's almost three pounds saving. Oh, have a look on the website for those. Those are amazing bargains, I think. After 40 minutes, no, I was late, wasn't it? After half an hour, that's all I've got to show you. Um, so, impatiently waiting to set off for a night stay at Legoland. Oh, and then get soaked there tomorrow. <laughs> that's Chantelle. She's going to get wet at Legoland tomorrow. Right, that's that. Shall we make, a, shall we make this cushion cover? Um, I need that. I'll show you that. I've got a zip somewhere. No, here. Yeah. That's that. So, it's ever so easy, and it's, it's rather quick. So that's it kind of off the cushion. And it wraps around, which is why I was saying earlier, um, oh, thank you, Lynn. Um, difficult to line it. However, it's got French seams on the inside, so it's all neatened off. You don't see any raw edges. Um, oh, Anne's made cross-stitch Christmas cards. That's a nice idea. I've used an invisible zip on that one. This is one that I made on the open day uh, last weekend. Was it last weekend? Oh, time's gone so quickly. Because um, I hadn't got any regular zips. So I just used an invisible one, but I didn't use the invisible zip footer. I just sewed it in like a zip. And that's what it looks like. And I think that's perfectly acceptable. But this one, I'm going to use a regular zip. So this is the panel. Um, Obviously, I've cut it out. So it's one long strip. Don't cut out the individual squares. We need to keep that all in one long strip. And the first thing we're going to do is to sew the zip in. So we're going to put this, doesn't matter which way. I don't know if you noticed as well, um, because this folds over, because we designed this, and then my drawings, and you know we're in control of this, um, the design's the right way up, so that's why there's a change from this way up to upside down. Because if it was the same print, or if you were making this from um, from your own fabric, from bought fabric that was directional, when you turn this over, that'd be upside down. So that's why it's been designed like this. It's barely noticeable. And then that is the bit that's going to be the pocket. So that folds up like that. And then the zip needs to go on the two ends. So let's sew it facing down to this end, first of all. I sew a 15 inch zip so that we can clear the metal stoppers from each end. I don't like sewing over those. Well, you can't, you'll break your needle. I know, Alice, I know. Gary says I wasn't bright enough. I'm gonna be in trouble now, he's watching. He's watching at home. So let's pop that under there. Move the needle over to the left hand side. Move the needle to the left hand side. And then, why haven't you moved? Oh, that's the stitch length, you fool. That's the needle to the left hand side. And then just sew straight down the centre. <laughs> just got something jammed under my foot pedal so it wouldn't let me press my foot down. That's frustrating because it's so slow. So, then right down the centre of this. Just lining up the edge of the zip with the edge of the fabric. And again, with the book cover, I'll make that on Create and Craft tomorrow, but it, it is only kind of um, a 10 minute thing, really. What's the choice of postage that's just been shown on the website? We don't have a choice of postage. If it's under £25, it's sent with Royal Mail second class, over £25 goes FedEx. Unless you're in the far north of Scotland um, or Ireland, Northern Ireland, because FedEx is just too expensive, in which case those will go with 
Um, Royal Mail. Anywhere else internationally or around Europe goes with every. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just getting on with this because it's so easy. So there's the zip sewn to one end. So over here, I'm not doing a, a YouTube for this one, Liana. It's, it's so easy. Um, and I think anybody can watch this back. That's sewn onto the opposite side there. And then down there. So I could I could actually do a video to be fair. Um, it's just when I'm not going to be able to do it before these come out tomorrow. That's that's the thing. Right. Let's so. Oh, let's show you that. And just sew straight down the opposite side. And then I'm going to chop off the end. You can get your orders to France, Julie, with every. We can ship with every. Uh, that's what we do around Europe and the international ones. Can't figure out FedEx at the moment, and they're not getting back to me. I'm going to chop the zip off this end as well, but obviously I don't want to chop the slider off. Oh, Kim, happy birthday for tomorrow. OK. So let's chop the ends of the zip off here. And Coffee, tea, oh, like oh. no, 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 you know what they're what, like. What's that? Are you been eating chocolate in here? <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate shop sold out. I hope you're sharing the chocolate. I'm going to put this. Shall I just hold it? That's not. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Um. Hi everybody. <laughs> it's uh, oh, Leanna wants hot chocolate. There you go. See, you see what you do. You see what you've done. You set everybody off now. Yeah, and and, and you, you just know Dawn's going to be on the gin. Huh? Um, oh, latte for Jules. Did you get your receipt? By the way, was that okay? I've got in touch with George. Um, happy birthday! Oh, it's Kim's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Um, Katrina Sons is 39 today. Happy birthday to him. He's not happy about it. Should be happy about that. It's the 40 that's the issue. I'm just going to sew. Shall I top stitch? We could top stitch that. I'm just going to sew the ends of the zip together. Just because it makes it a little bit easier when um, you're constructing something. So let's close over the end of the zip. And just sew across there. You can do that by hand if it's easier. Who's that in Nashville? Good morning to you, RT Blade 4. All right, then I'm going to top stitch along each side. So needle back in the middle again. And I'm just making sure that the inside of the seam is just folded over. And this is a tube now, so I don't want to be sewing through both sides. In fact, it might help to open the zip a little on there. That's that. So just make sure you're only sewing alongside the zip. You're not sewing through um, an extra layer of fabric, so to speak. And then back down the other side. Oh, Christine's one was 97 on Tuesday. Oh, amazing. Hope I live that long. Hope I live that long if I'm healthy. Um, right. So, then in a set. <laughs> Jules bought this sewing machine. Well, this, not this one, obviously. From... Um, from our open day and she just said it's blooming fabulous <laughs> we do have them on the website okay so so now I've got a tube 
No. I'm just going to put the iron on. So bear with me a second. Hi, Irene. Oh, twin son's wedding on Saturday. <laughs> Exciting. Oh. Haven't got my ironing pad. I'll use some felt. Don't worry about bringing it down, Gary. I shall use some felt. That'll be fine. Okay. Is mistletoe poisonous? I don't know. Right, so that's what we've got. So I need to oh, fold these two lines here so that they meet. So that's going to go there. And we'll have a pin in that. And then, I'll do that in a minute. Same on this side. So just match up those two lines. It might have just a mark, actually. You see, we've got a little deep line there. I think on the ones that are going out, they don't have this black line across here because we thought it spoiled it a bit. So on the newer ones, there's no black line, but there is a little mark at the side there. So just match up the marks. Like that. I can double check that, actually, can't I? Oh, it does have a line. Apologies, it does have the line there. OK, so now you can see what the back of the cushion looks like. And that's where I've pinned it. And this is going to fold up. So the line's on the bottom like that. And then we'll pin. You can top stitch across here if you like. I haven't. And let's keep that nice and flat. This is where I'm just going to give it a quick press. Just to help that stay in place before we sew. And I'll just take those creases out of there as well while I'm here. Right, so it's nice and flat. Then let's pop another couple of pins in here just to keep the pocket in place. And around there. Didn't know that, Susan. And sew down each side quite close to the edge. So no more than a quarter of an inch. If you can do a little bit less than a quarter of an inch would be preferable. So over the zip, the zip sits just above where the pocket is so it's not too bulky. And then back down that side. And just make sure you're going through all layers. You can always sew in a little bit if um, if you don't catch at all. All right, so I'm just making sure I've, I've got all of the fabric. Sometimes you don't. And then let's take out the pins. Christine's birthday. Oh, thank you, Zach. All right, let's open that a bit. Now, if, you're, if this seam is too wide, then we can trim it back. And you can trim it back to as close as those stitches as you like. So an, an eighth of an inch would be ideal. Now, the end of the zip is going to curl over inside here. But that's just the way that it works. So let's trim that down there. Oh, I think it might be OK. I'll do, I'll do a little bit just be on the safe side. Not the end of the world if you do have a, a little bit of fabric 
showing through, but it will show on the inside seam. Depends how many people are going to look at your inside seams. Right, then let's turn this inside out. Katrina made book cushions for the grandchildren's last year. Oh, nice. And in there, so push them all out. Hello, Ginny. Just back from work. All right. Yes, it is a reading pillow, Brenda. Okay, so just make sure that the, the seam's turned right right out all the way down. You can see you've got the pocket there at the bottom. And then give that a press. Make sure the seam's right on the edge. And then we're going to re-sew on top of this to make a, a French seam. Encapsulating all of the, um, the stitches that we've just sewn. So that's why it's important to trim the, um, the fabric back. Because if the end of that seam is showing, or you haven't sewn, it isn't in, kind of encapsulated within the seam, you're going to see the frayed bits on the outside. Um, just make sure when you get to the zip that it does curl around a bit. So that's quite bulky. And then just roll that so the seam's on the end. And this will take a 12 inch cushion pad. So it's not too big, it's a nice size. And then again, down this side. You can feel where the, the seam is, so just make sure that you're not, you know, that the seam is, is all inside there. Almost there, almost finished. So that's the inside. So again, if you're gifting this or if you're making to sell, which is perfectly okay, you get a really nice finish on the inside. And then, so I'm just going to unplug my iron while I think about it. Turn it through again. So, Susan, the seam allowance is very close to the edge for the first seam. So an eighth of an inch if you can. Otherwise, if it's a little bit bigger, then trim the seam back really, really close to the stitches. And then the seam allowance on the outside was about a quarter of an inch. And I say about, it just needs to be wide enough to cover that, um, the seam allowance that you've just folded over. So we just snip that off. And there we're finished. So again, you've got a nice neat seam on the outside. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, Denise says she uses a blind hem foot when she needs to go close to the edge. That's a really good idea. Um, or you may have a, a top stitch foot or just some kind of foot with a, a guide on it would work well. So that's it. That's all ready for the, the cushion insert. That's that, and that's that. Does need another iron, but you know, I think, I think you get the gist of it there. So again, the book cover. Oh, a handle on the top. Now, if you're going to put a handle on the top, do that before you start doing anything. That is a such. A, why didn't I think of that? You see, you come up with these ideas after I've already made them. So where the. Um, where the fabric turns upside down, that's going to be the top. So if you're going to put a handle on it, put it on now before you start sewing the whole thing together. R a really, really good idea. Um, are we going to get any more festive felt in? I didn't realise we'd sold out, actually. Uh, Laura, yes, we can get more of that in. They deliver quite quickly, actually, that company. So if we order now, hopefully we'll be here on Tuesday. Um, 
means that when the pillar proves it was. Yes, that's another good point, actually. Carla says that um, the French theme means that there's no fraying when the cushion's washed as well. It's a good idea. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, right, that's that then. So again, panels, if you want to get hold of these right now, are available, well, they were available on Create and Craft. Let me show you where to go um, if you did want to order from them, because that's, that's going to be the quickest way, basically. No, I don't want any unused printers, thank you very much. Things that pop up can be quite odd sometimes. Um, I'm just going to get my keyboard. There we go. Great and Craft. So when you go to the Create and Craft website, this is what you get. If you go to TV and then to Guide and click on that, it'll come up with, like now, so we need to go up here and go from Saturday to Sunday. And 9 o'clock in the morning, Daisy Lane with Debbie Shaw, and then in this show, and then you can add these to basket and order if you want them straight away. So we've got, that's the um, the reading cushion and book cover. They're all £24.99. They all come with instructions. Um, you choose your own backing fabrics and things. So that's the fairy house, Christmas stocking and bunting. There's the gift bag. And that one is the zip box pouch. And we've got some other bits and bobs on there as well. Um, so the corner creator's there. They have the, the, the sewing trinket tray and they've got the robin trinket tray as well. I'll show you that in a second. We haven't got that on the website at the moment because Crate and Craft have got all the stock. And oh, the boxes, those are on there. We've got some of the animal pouches. Oh, it's the first time that they've done the, uh, the Wonderland panels without instruction. It's just a panel, so the prices are a bit lower on there. So we've got the, um, the blue and the pink. I don't know why that's that picture. And, um, and blue and pink on the quilt tops as well. Oh, and they've got the gingerbread house panel. That does come with half a metre of fabric and instructions. And then they get on to all the books and stuff like that that are on there. Um, so, oh, 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 that went a bit funny. So that's, um, that's why they are if you want to order now. And, uh, oh, thank you, Michelle. You don't get 10% off on Create and Craft, no Rita, not unless you're a Create and Craft Club member, and then you do get your 10% off. Um, but we we do have them on pre-order on the website. Um, but they'll be towards the end of next week before we can get them printed and back over again. Yes, they will be the same price, Susan. We, we have to do that. We can't undercut Create and Craft, else we'll lose the contract. So, yeah, everything's going to be the same price. After last time we worked for your website. Oh, thank you, Alon. We'll, we'll try and get them out as quickly as we can. If you go to go and pre-order, um, that helps us out as well because then we know how many we need to get printed. Um, I'll be onto the printers tomorrow, actually, because she works over the weekend normally, and um, try and get them out as quickly as we possibly can. Um, oh, thank you, Anne-Marie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. When's the new book out? A notification on Amazon. Is that the, okay, is it Occasions Bag? The Builder Bag book, the, is it Occasions Bag? I think they've done. That is exactly the same as the previous Occasions Bag, but it's in paperback, that's just come out. We've got it on the website. Um, not due another book yet. Oh, Half Yard, Half Yard Autumn will be the next one, but I haven't finished the projects for it yet. So I'm a bit, bit late with that, bit in trouble for that one. Should have had them done by the end of September. Um, okay, Denise, I'll see you later. Thank you very much. See you on Creating Craft tomorrow, Zach. Um, it's your relaunch book. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's that one. It, it'll be uh, the Builder Bag book. Yeah, it should. I don't know when Amazon is sending them out, but we have got some on the website. It's off, Laura. I remembered. All switched off. Um, okay. So I shall. Oh, hi, Chris. Prepping dinner for seven people tomorrow as we're out later. You do gad about, you two, don't you, Chris and Rachel? Um, the occasion, but yeah, Karen, thank you. Any new Lady Macaro? Not at the moment, Alana. No, I shall, I'll ask my daughter if that's, uh, if that's planned. Uh, club member on Create and Craft, but I didn't know I supported you more on your site. No, just the same, exactly the same, Susan. Sandra's making bottle bags for Christmas. Lovely. 
Very naughty. Yeah, this is Gary's. Mine has chickens on it, and his has crabs. Our favourite things, but his are to eat, and mine aren't. I don't. I don't eat. I don't eat stuff like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I shall see you. Um, on Create and Craft at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. If you want to come and drop us an email, it'd be lovely to hear from you as well. Um, otherwise, I should be back on Wednesday at uh, four o'clock. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing yet. We'll think of something. Um, actually, I'd, I'd, I had got an idea, but I've forgotten what it was because Sarah I didn't write it down. Um, Lena's waiting for a parcel to come, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to pop off. I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, back here uh, Wednesday or next Saturday at 11 o'clock. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. And I shall see you later. Bye-bye.